Good morning, comrades. And today we don't have a vlog vlog, but something special. We are here with Sub 7 Up and E36 of them at the world famous Zuck Speed. Pretty certain that if you're into motorsport, you have heard about the company. It has next year in 2018, I think they're gonna celebrate half a century of existence. From 68, they have done pretty much everything from Formula One. I can actually better ask Peter Zakowski. What haven't you done in the motorsports? Is there anything that you haven't done? You done Formula One? We, have, we, we, we haven't done the rallies. Okay. And uh, twift racing and things like this, we don't okay. have that. Okay. Well, maybe something in the future. But yeah, I'm invited by this lovely man to show me around, around his nice little space but there is something more over there we might go end up there you used to race yourself as well formula 3 i heard and uh 99 in uh, vln with the viper yes yes because in 99 there was like almost no restrictions in the class so you decided to run like 1000 horsepower viper yeah that's we run in 2000 ah, in but 2000. In, in in 99 we're running at the fia spec with yeah. the viper and yeah. uh, so we get the viper really famous on the Nordsch life and uh, yeah it was really nice let's have a look inside and uh, okay Zach speed group executive club so. yeah we have some some different uh, um, departments we have our Zach speed club that we have also our whip launch at the Nürburgring mm -hmm. all our uh, hospitalities uh, one under the Zach speed executive club mm -hmm. then we have our Zach speed automotive and motorsport that is all our restoration for young and old timer and for racing cars and our luxury limited uh, is starting now with luxury products mm -hmm. we're making special from carbon and other things i heard you were the first company in germany who produced carbon fiber yeah we was the first company to using in motorsport the autoclav in uh, 2000 in uh, 1992 something to be proud of as well yeah oh Here's our dog. She, she's sad because there's no races today. Am yeah. I racing? No. Yeah. Okay, then I'm just gonna chill on the couch. Yes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that is our, our history. All of the cars? All of our, not all, but all, yeah, the most of, of Zach Speed cars. Mm -hmm. We have the, now we are in the SLS program with the GT3. Yeah, I know. Well, my audience must sure, surely know all the Monfilter uh, GT3. Yes, and the mobile car. Yeah, and the, where's the GTR? The GTR is not ready now, but he is coming. It's the Nissan. Then we have done some McLarens in 2012. Mm -hmm. And then it comes all the Vipers. We make the street record in 2009. We make the GT3 cars. Then the GTR, uh, uh, GTS cars for the 24 hours Nürburgring and Spa. Then a big program for us was to produce all the V8 Star cars, most yeah. really famous in Germany. Then we do in 2000, we have a champ car arrangement with Brian Hörter, who was driving for Zach Speed. Mm -hmm. Then in the latest 90s, we make the Porsche GT1. Yeah, the 996. Yeah, no, this, uh, that was the um, Le Mans car. Yeah. Then we make class two for Opel and all the DTM cars. Then we have a, a, a long history with Mercedes mm -hmm. in the 90s. We're running five years in the DTM, all the works cars. And especially also we do for young people, the DTM junior team was mm -hmm. creating by us. On this time we make also in the German championship uh, the BMW junior team. We won in the championship in 1987. From 1985 to 90, uh, 1990 we won in the Formula One program with yeah. our own engine and own car. Mm -hmm. Then we have a big history in the US with our Ford Mustangs and Probe. Yeah. Before we built the C100 and the Ford Capri, that was most of our famous car. Yeah, probably the most famous car. Yeah. I seen it at the old time at Grand Prix and it, uh, yeah. I was just standing and admiring for a pretty long time. And that was starting 1968 with the Ford Escort. Yeah, and here a bit bigger yeah. model of it. Very nice. Very, very cool. I saw there also, by the way, something special behind Hermann. Hello. A young fella named Michael Schumacher. Yeah, we have a, a special relationship with him. I, I raced against him in the Formula 3. Mm -hmm. 
and also we are running the first uh, professional racing school in Germany at the Nürburgring. We're mm -hmm. starting 1991 mm -hmm. and we have a long relationship with Renault and Elf. And in this time, uh, Michael was driving for Benetton with the Renault Elf. And once in the year, he's coming and uh, watch what we're doing at the Nürburgring. Mm -hmm. And that is the original ring where he signed with the picture and yeah. Yeah. was really really nice time and uh, was really good. I see here also a mold for a Hans system. Yeah, we are also producing uh, the Hans system for sh for the company Schroed. Mm -hmm. In the past, also we make some welding things and also a lot of Saxpeed model cars. Very nice seat as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where should we go to next? Here is sitting our Zina. Hello. <laughs> Here is our uh, classic department where we make classic cars, also repairing uh, the bodies from our racing team. Mm -hmm. We, we build a, repair our aluminium bodies in, in house. Uh, what cars are those? That those is GT3 Mercedes AMG yeah. and especially the aluminium bodies. If you have a crash, you have to repair it and also this we do in in house e34 m5 yeah we make some services paint shop and uh, services for the for customers Ooh, t1 yeah that is a t1 bus we want to restore it then we have just get in the original uh, zira cosmos winning car from spa with brancatelli schneider and win percy it's owned by a uh, new zealand family and they they just coming uh, down from the Nürburgring from the Alzheimer Compre. Yeah. Now we prepare the car for the next event for them. They go in 14 days to the Olden Park to England mm -hmm. and that special works we do here. If the client comes and we can help them, we are really happy and bring our no knowledge to those cars. Mm -hmm. There you see the, uh, the jig for the chassis. Yeah. There you see the an, an Escort that is building now up for the first Saxpeed Escort again. Mm. In here we have our, our restoration for M3s. We make a lot of, of M3s. Mm -hmm. We have a, a good department about uh, M3s and restoration to the old DTM and Group A cars. Some little gems. Yeah, we also make in here the SP3 car for Toyota Team Thailand. Okay. We have two of them cars. One is today on the dyno and one we prepare now for VLN6. Nice. Yeah, really nice cars. It's an engine from Japan mm -hmm. for the Toyota. And you made the adjustments to it or? No, we just put it in the car and okay. make uh, all the installation work for the airbox, exhaust system. Mm -hmm. And we like now to optimize for the next step and uh, running at the VLN6 and then we s prepare the cars for next year 24 hour race. Here is also a typical classic work. We mount now a, a Volkswagen Beetle. It's complete restorated, it's painted by us and in the end it will be looks like new. Wow, that looks very good. Yeah, and that is not a special, uh, normally the Volkswagen Beetle is not a special all-timer where you invest this kind of money, but a lot of Germans was his first cars, mm -hmm. the first love of cars, and then why they, they restorated again and have some nice uh, memories. About a week ago I was at the wedding where I saw also a Beetle and what I really didn't like, it had like modern stereo yes. and I was just like, didn't fit the car, but luckily yes. you kept the original one here. In here you see more special cars. That's our own cars. That's our Formula One car. We're now preparing it again. We run it sometimes mm. on some special events. It's funny when you look from it, uh, well, from this angle, you're like, yeah. this is not really a car, it's just yeah. a small piece of We have <laughs> now to, to fit the, we have a mock-up engine to fit some new pipes on it, mm -hmm. and then the gearbox. Yeah. 
Yes. So from which uh, era is this? 86, 87, mm -hmm. with the Zaxby turbo engine. Mm, the turbo era. The, the, the proper turbo era when turbo cars, Formula One cars, still sounded like cars. And that's how, like a vacuum cleaner nowadays. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. And here we built now up, uh, we restored our Viper. Yeah, the one that you used in 99 and 2000? No, yeah, that, uh, 2001 and, and further we're using. And that was the special car with this uh, tank change system. Mm. I, I think you heard of them with, ah, where we changed the tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and that car we rebuilt. And next year at the 24 hours, we will present the car. Yeah. So you mean the, the refueling, the chin yes. yeah, yeah. So because endurance racing and every racing as a whole, you lose a lot of time when you're refueling. So instead of refueling, you can just have a second gas tank, refuel it, and when the car comes in, yeah. just, just, just switch the tanks, and that's amazing, very genius. But obviously, for obvious reasons, all the good inventions get banned at some point. So this year, it's well, for, for the last couple of years, it's not allowed anymore. Yeah, then we have also restorated a Ford GT. It's a customer. He do some events in the year. All, all this service we do also for customers. Yeah. We build a car, bring it back to the track, make the service for them. All this we we doing also. It looks amazing. I haven't seen a Ford GT, a racing Ford GT that would look in such yeah. a nice condition. Yeah. All the trophies. Yeah. Probably not all the trophies. Now that is the, from, the, from the histories and in the in newest area we have in, the, in the, our new race shop, you will see some more trophies. Mm -hmm. That was one of our first carbon fiber monocoques we built in 84 mm -hmm. for the Ford Probe. And that's really, really good. Okay, if we jump here, we have some cars to waiting for restoration. And also, we have our... Is that the Model F or...? Mo uh, the A, A model. A, A, yeah. Yeah, there we have a nice story. That was a car from my wife, original. And my wife, and it's also like, like uh, working on cars. And we, we, we have to restore this car. But then if we started, our kids is coming, and now the project is stopped. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this little thing with two exhausts? Yeah, that is uh, our, our paddock car for yeah. going in the paddock. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look stuck to me. I think it's a bit modified. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, in, in here we, we make our, uh, prepare the carbon parts also for our GT program. Also, morning. So we also we prepare the, the bumper for the M3s, make some molds. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> you can go to the paint shop. You will see cars are waiting for, for painting. That's a roof from a Group 5 Capri. Mm. We are restorated one, one again that we have another Group 5 Capri. That's a DKV and some, some other cars. I think we go this way. That is the wrong way, but... What's the name of the Oberhaupt? Hmm? I don't know. Cut it out, please. Yeah. Here's our paint shop. The GT3. Yeah, and also in the GT3, you see, for the weight, we always put the hole that we are repairing in the front, and we always put the complete uh, paint off, mm -hmm. that we have not more weight if mm -hmm. it is a repair, part and new paint part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in here we make our uh, engines and special projects. Oh. But that is our restricted area. <laughs> we don't can go in. 
sorry. That's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah, maybe if Boris comes. Oh, then. okay. Well. Yeah, here's our racing building <coughs> where we have our own racing programs. So, which can also be considered as a speed museum. Yeah. Oh. So here we have some more trophies. <laughs> some, some more. <laughs> yeah, that is the the first Saxpeed Formula One car. Behind is the latest Saxpeed Formula One car, and between was the car from '87 and '86. The Nurburgring. Yeah, we always really near the Nurburgring and also. Mm -hmm have passion at the Nürburgring, all our cars had the Nürburgring signs on. That was a Ford Probe for the uh, IMSA series in the 80, 83, 84, 85, mm -hmm. we running. Oh, and of course the Calibras. Yeah, that's the DTM Calibra from 86. And that is the special Calibra we built for the 87 season. Mm -hmm. But the DTM and ITC stopped. That was a shame. That was, a, I can imagine. Yeah. And we always have ready in October our new car for the next season. Yeah. <laughs> Such a shame that the car yeah. never... And sometimes you can see this car in the Nürburgring Museum, right? Yes. Some, some cars we always put it to the Nürburgring Museum mm -hmm. and put it back here. Here we have a special car we're building for the Superstar Series Italian Championship. Mm -hmm. That was a special project with the Chrysler. It's not a typical racing car, but no, was, really. was really nice. And was driven by Perlucci Martini. And that was really, really, really interesting car. Well, I never knew that uh, a 300C could be a race car, but yes. I mean, Volkswagen Up can be a race car, so wow, very special. Ah, Volvo! Yeah, that was the car we building for the 2000 DTM, for the new DTM start. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ford was owned by Volvo, and Volvo was considering to doing the DTM series. It was also a really nice project. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can put this car in your rent rental. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Is it still running? Or? Yeah, we can, we can. We can make it running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, could be for track day rental yeah. for the American customers <laughs> and anyone First else. Taxi, First ring taxi. Limousine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the back doors. If they can be opened. Oh, they can. So you can put something in the back as well. <laughs> yeah, that is one of our cars from the racing school. Mm -hmm. we, has the, we, we make a lot of uh, long years. The Pilot Elf comes original from France, but we also make it in Germany. Mm -hmm. The best one can do one season in the Formula Renault championship. And if he won in the second year the championship, he can move up in the Formula 3 was a program we did for 10 years and was really, really good. Yeah, here we go in our racing shop. You see one of... Do not use mobile phones. <laughs> <laughs> Special for you, you can do. You. Yeah, that is the car just coming from the Nürburgring GT Masters. We're preparing. The second car is in the body shop. He has a crash. That's for my little daughter. I have also some jobs to do for her. <laughs> A lot of kids that are watching this video are very jealous now. Yeah. Drive train of the, the GT3. Here's all our part stock we put to the racetrack and bring it back. That is our winning championship car in 2015. And that's all the crash parts we have from the crash at the GT Master at the Nürburgring. Hmm. That will be restored? Or? Yeah, some, some will repair, some, some will renew. 
We should do a giveaway of if you something gonna throw away. People, <coughs> people like crushed parts. Yes, yes. The new parts? Yeah, there's some new parts, spare parts. Yeah, here we prepare gearboxes and uh, shock absorbers. Here we have a little machine shop. CNC. We can prepare. Here is our Nissan department, especially at the Nordschleife and the VLN and 24 hours we're running Nissan. Yeah, with Tom Coronel. Tom Coronel, yes, is one of our driver. That's our last year and this year GT3 car. We're running at the VLN. My Dutch audience is going to be very proud and Swedish as well. Yeah. And we have some equipment here we are using for the races. Always in cases, put it in the truck and then go to races. All good things come to an end and so is this tour. Um, I want to thank Peter for this amazing tour. Thank yeah. you very much. And, and coffee and coke it tastes also amazing here and just a small overview of even more history of suck speed yeah if you want to visit suck speeds uh, they are planning to organize uh, a barbecue around vlan 7 or vlan 8 I'm not sure yet but, but we will we'll see so to. make sure to follow the facebook page of suck speed it will be announced there uh, another huge thank you and I want to finish this video on a kind of funny story because Herman told me about a story when Colin Chapman visited here and if you could like... yes it is also in our Zaxby book yeah I was a little kid I think it was 80 81 and uh, Colin Chapman wanted to, to buy a Zaxby turbo engine those times was the four cylinder turbos and uh, Ford managed this meeting and he flying over and he wanted to buy the Zaxby engine, but my father didn't uh, sold him the engine. He mm -hmm. said, no, no, I don't sell the engine. Yeah, but the, the, the fun part is when your father said, don't... Uh... Yes, and in the beginning, my, my father didn't speak so good English. There was one guy, a famous guy also, Luki Scheuer. He was mm -hmm. a famous journalist around the Nürburgring. Mm -hmm. He was a translator, and the meeting was for Sunday. And uh, my father said, ah, I have Sunday to go in the shop and Colin Chapman visit us. I said, oh, Colin Chapman is coming. I look all my papers and autographs. I was everything make ready. And uh, my father said, no, no, you don't go with us. And don't ask him for autographs. It's not good. And you stay at home. I said, no, 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 I go with, <laughs> with you. No problem. I, I will stay quiet. And then his office was upstairs, uh, was waiting outside. And if Mr. Chapman comes out, I give him posters and everything to sign. <laughs> and was, mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, and for me, it was so, uh, like a kid, I was so oh, calling Chapman. It was something <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> thank you for this amazing anecdote. And one more time, thank you, amazing, for this factory tour. And I hope to see you guys at the end of the season barbecue here at Zaxby's. Thanks for watching. Bye.